John Joseph Kelleher was born on October 12, 1921, in Ellensburg, Washington. He was born to his parents, Selena and John Sr., and was the third of four children. Margaret and Mary Louise were John Jr.'s older sisters, and Joseph was his younger brother. Both John Sr. and John Jr. went by the name of Jack throughout their lives, and they even used the name on several legal documents. For the sake of simplicity, I will only refer to John Jr. as Jack Kelleher. The Kelleher family settled in Ellensburg as John Sr. supported his family by working as the owner of a Ford dealership. While the family continued to live in Ellensburg, Jack's early years are not well documented. However, his years at Ellensburg High School are well recorded, with Jack's athletic ability being his defining talent. He played multiple sports over the course of his time at EHS, but he was particularly skilled at basketball and track. Along with those two sports, Jack also played football, but did not pursue it after high school. Jack's junior season in basketball was particularly notable, as he was the star player on a strong Ellensburg team. In spring 1938, Ellensburg competed in the state high school basketball tournament and played in a close contest against Blaine High School. The teams were evenly matched, as the score was tied at 23 in the final two minutes. After an Ellensburg player made two free throws, Kelleher secured the victory by dropping in a one-handed score in the closing moments. Jack was one of the top scorers in the game, finishing second with five points in the 27-23 contest. While Ellensburg did not win the state title, the team still finished in a respectable fifth place. Over the course of the season, Jack was one of the top scorers in the state, with 28 points, and was named the state second team. Jack graduated from EHS in 1939 and set his sights on Washington State College for the next phase of his life. In fall 1939, Kelleher began classes at WSC as a business administration major. Much like his high school years, Jack's time at WSC primarily centered around sports. During his freshman year, he tried out for the freshman basketball team and was one of 21 players who made the final cut. The freshman basketball team turned out a stellar season, winning nine games with only three losses, as Jack made contributions at guard. Despite his success in basketball, Jack decided to focus his efforts on his other main sport, track. While WSC's football program was the premier sport for the school, the track program boasted a lengthy record of success during the 1930s. Jack quickly proved himself during his first year in track, and was awarded a numeral for his efforts. To cap off his first year, Jack also became a member of the Sigma Phi Epsilon fraternity. With a successful freshman year in the books, Kelleher looked to follow up with a strong sophomore year. Now focused on track, he was primed to leave his mark on the program. While competing in the Pacific Coast Conference track and field meet, Jack raced on a three-man relay team and was a key performer. Completing the relay in 3 minutes, 17.9 seconds, the team captured WSE's ninth straight Northern Division Track Championship. Jack was lauded for his performance, as coach Jack Weyerhauser named him one of the finest prospects on the team. Though he focused his efforts on track, Jack was still interested in basketball and turned in a solid season with his Greek intramural team. Kelleher wasn't able to carry his team to victory, but he was still named on the intramural mythical team, along with other great players from the season. Halfway through his college education, Kelleher already displayed a great deal of potential and had a bright future ahead as he began his junior year. However, the attack on Pearl Harbor took place halfway through the year as his plans for the future were interrupted. In the summer of 1942, Jack Kelleher placed his promising track and educational prospects on hold to serve his country. Now in a state of war, the United States were quickly to mobilize as many men as possible. While some American soldiers saw action early in the conflict, the U.S. gathered its strength for an invasion of Europe. To accomplish this, thousands of men like Jack Kelleher needed to be trained and readied. Kelleher enlisted into the Army on August 8, 1942, and was sent to Camp Roberts, California for basic training. He was later attached to the 137th Infantry Regiment of the 35th Infantry Division on Christmas Eve. He was sent to camps across California and continued to train until 1943. Finally, in May 1944, Jack was sent overseas to England in preparation for the long-awaited invasion of Europe. 
In June 1944, the Allies had gained enough strength to land in France and deal a decisive blow against Nazi Germany. On the morning of June 6th, the Allies launched their amphibious landings on the beaches of Normandy. While the operation was highly successful, casualties were high as tenacious German troops wore down the Allied forces. The 137th was not a part of the initial invasion, but it played a significant role in reinforcing the advance into France. A month after the landings, the regiment began arriving on Omaha Beach with the rest of the 35th Division from July 7th to July 9th. The regiment found itself in combat on July 11th near the Vier River. Despite being on the offensive, heavy fire from fortified German positions took their toll on the inexperienced American troops. On July 12th, the 137th continued its attack as German fire from artillery, machine guns, and mines cut down dozens of soldiers, resulting in over 94 casualties in a single day. Jack was one of the many casualties during the operation, with his wounds being serious enough to necessitate being sent away from the front. He was treated in a military hospital in England and quickly recovered as he was released from care on August 10th. By September, Kelleher, now a staff sergeant, was back in France with his unit and ready to continue fighting alongside his comrades. While German troops continued to hold out in France, American forces were able to push them back in spite of the high costs and casualties. Morale continued to be high as the army captured the city of Nancy on September 15th. Nevertheless, the American soldiers that liberated Nancy were unaware of the danger that remained just outside the city. On September 20th, the 137th advanced on Highway 74 between Nancy and Saarbrücken before they were ambushed by German machine gun and mortar fire. Concealed in the slopes above the valley, German troops were able to inflict massive casualties on the exposed Americans. Jack was one of the many men injured in the attack. This time, he sustained wounds that proved to be fatal. Kelleher lived for three more days before he died of his injuries on September 23, 1944. The news regarding Jack's fate took weeks to reach the United States. He was initially reported to have been injured in combat, but two days later, the Spokesman Review announced that he had been killed in action. Jack Kelleher was 23 years old at the time of his death. His body was recovered and later buried at the Lorraine American Cemetery and Memorial in France. Years later, the memory of Jack Kelleher was preserved on the WSU Veterans Memorial alongside many other WSE students who fell during World War II.